Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you to everyone for being here. Uh, as of the recording of this, I was sitting at 9,100 subscribers. That means we are 900 subscribers away from giving away that USG and that 8-port switch. That'll put us at 10,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone. Um, what I want to talk about tonight... Oh, before we get there, there will be a live stream. Um, I know some of you follow uh, Crosstalk Solutions as well. Uh, we will be doing our live stream on May 29th. It'll be 12 p.m. Central, 10 a.m. Eastern. And so then that would be, I'm sorry, not Eastern. He's Pacific time. So it'd be 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, 11 Mountain, 12 Central, 1 Eastern. So tune in for that. Um, things tend to get a little off track, get a little silly, get a little light, but that's okay. That's... Uh, can't take yourself too serious in life because you won't get out alive anyway, right? So what we're going to talk about tonight is uh, Unify 5.4.16 has been pushed to uh, the repos. If you've got a cloud key, you can do an automatic upgrade. So let's take a look at that real quick. Here's the release notes. We're going to hop over here um, uh, real quick too. Uh, after that, we're actually going to check out the Ubiquity store because i got a couple things to say about that. All right, so let's go back to uh, Unify real quick. So we're logged into our cloud key, which is 5.4.15. So we'll go to settings, and we'll go to maintenance. And the actual cloud key firmware itself is up to date, but we do have a controller update, and it will take us from 5.4.15 to 5.4.16. So we're going to go ahead and apply this update, and... Um, you know, we can do, we can do that backup real quick, even though we have the automated backup, we'll go ahead and do that manual backup and we'll go ahead and apply this update. So it's going to spin around, it's going to do its thing. And while that is upgrading, we're going to hop over here and we're going to take a look at the release notes. So as always, mega backup, and this is the latest stable release for the 5.4.x branch. There's some release notes. Um, if you're migrating from 3, there are many changes to API. It's not backward compatible. So you're going to have to check out this information. Um, let's see. Anything? Uh, you can no longer manage control Unify voice over IP devices. There is a separate controller for that. That's been this way for a little while. Uh, let's see. Uh, this will not run on Raspberry Pi 1s. It's also been that way for a little while. And let's see what else. Uh, DPI doesn't work if you've got SmartQ QoS turned on because the traffic isn't offloaded. That's also been in there for a while. Some information about the DF DFS channels. Um, let's see. Talks about the Java. Okay, here's our controller bug fixes from 5.4.15. They uh, did an update to a validation hit for maximum number of workstations in a wireless network group. They updated the bundled Tomcat package. It doesn't say anything about security, but if there's a new version of Tomcat, uh, I'm guessing it's something security related or update related or something you know, to make the system work properly. Um, add some checks to fix lingering issues with site import. You, know, you can import export sites to make things easy. These are the firmware changes. So for the UAPs, there is a wireless uplink improvement, guest mode broadcast filter improvements. We fixed a memory leak. They fixed the memory leak. Uh, various tweaks to improve wireless uplinks. So there's this, and then there's this. So there's two times they mentioned the uh, wireless uplink. Added some uh, JSON processing to the UAP. Uh, the switch. Um, config changes preparing for LLDP and voice VLAN. That is fantastic. Uh, added a CA cert package. There's some various security improvements. And the rest of the changes are for the USG. So you can see they're really starting to bulk up uh, the USG. So DHCP client hostname registration improvements. Uh, fixed backend for DPI statistics. Statistics retention that will be coming in the 5.6.3 controller. Um, several Debian package dependencies to match the latest edge router stable release. So I believe that yeah, they have brought the back end of the USG up to uh, current release of the edge router. DNS mask upgraded to the same uh, as edge router. 
adds backend allowing disabling SSH for coming controller side feature. That's yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, fixed radius service problem, fix for IPsec reloading problem, and added backend for site to site IPsec VPN. So you can take a look at these. You can take a look at the new bundled firmware. You can roll your own, and it does say that this will be pushed to the repo and download site on the 22nd. I did notice it yesterday. So um, we hit apply update, but I wonder, ah, cloud keys rebooting. Just got a little impatient. So when I came back here and didn't see anything, no little, you know, swirling thing there, but we've got a white blinky light on the, uh, on the cloud key, so that thing is upgrading. If you've got any questions about the controller, uh, let me know. Put it down in the comments. Um, I also, uh, one thing that I do, sometimes people will call me um, or email me and we'll set up a time and I will walk you through the controller step by step, explain the functionality, uh, and people really like that. We talk about different configuration scenarios and things like that. So if you'd like to schedule some time with me to go over the Unify controller or even Edge OS device interfaces, and learn a little bit more about them. You can always contact me. My email's down there. You can go over to h5technology.com. You can fill out the contact form and I will get back with you. Looks like our controller is reloaded here, 5.4.16. So we'll log in. It's taking a second. You know me though, I get impatient with the clicks. And looks like everything is, uh, yeah, right now I've got everything removed from the cloud key. Um, if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you saw the pile of access points that I had behind me, so I'm rearranging some things, uh, trying to get, be a little better organized. So uh, cosmetically just here, I don't see uh, anything that strikes me as completely different, but uh, those security updates and things that are available is always a great idea to do security updates, especially when the vendor is telling you that you need a security update. So the last thing that I want to talk about tonight is the Ubiquity Store. And if you haven't been over to store.ubnt.com, cruise on over there and check it out because you can now buy a lot of Ubiquity gear and that was all just wireless. So it's it's not just Unify, but you can buy, um, you see the rocket dishes here. So this is a 34 DBI. This is a big guy. Um, if we open this up, let's see what the measurements are. So 41.34 inches by 41.34 inches by 16.57. So that thing is like, it's huge. It's like a, a pizza that I'd like to have. It's, it's ginormous. Not as big as they do come, but it's pretty big. Um, and you can see everything. So, like, here's the Nano Loco M5. Here's the Air Max Dual Yagi. Uh, the, the Omnis. Here's the 900 megahertz Air Max base station kit. So you get the 120 degree um, sector antenna with the, ba the base station. So, and I didn't see the CPE for that, but... Um, it wouldn't surprise me. There it is. There's a 900 megahertz loco right there. So you want to start a 900 megahertz wisp, which I'm actually kind of looking into. Um, you know, 900 megahertz, uh, depending on where you're at, spectrum could be fairly unused at this point. Uh, if you got power and gas companies, though, who are using that, you know, for uh, metering and stuff like that, it could be kind of noisy. So you just have to scope it out. But, uh, Look at all of the, the gear you can now buy right from the Ubiquity site. I think this is fantastic. Um, here's all the switching and routing that is available. So there's that Edgepoint R6, and there's the 16. That's the next step up. All of our switches. Um, so if you can't find things from distributors, there's a good chance that Ubiquity may have it on their site. Here's the NVR, the two different cameras that are available, the phones all of the accessories that are currently available. So if you haven't been over here, uh, yeah, I suggest uh, going on over and checking it out. If you are a nonprofit organization, you can send them um, information, uh, your tax exempt information, and they will strip the tax off there if you're in a state where they charge tax. I work with uh, an organization that orders from the store and they are able to leverage, uh, you know, getting the tax off of there. Um, 
So check it out. You know, go over there. And uh, if you've got any questions about any of the products, make sure you email me. Put it down in the link. That's it for this video. I know it's kind of short. But I'm working on a lot of stuff. Got a lot of uh, things happening uh, outside of uh, work this week. So um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to know when I release a video, click that little bell. I can never remember where that thing's at. Click that little bell that's down there. Uh, you know, please use all the affiliate links. You know, it kicks a few bucks in, keeps the channel going, getting new gear to do these videos on. If you want to see certain videos, you know, shoot me an email. That uh, you know, sometimes when that uh, PayPal donation link uh, goes off, you know, people send uh, you know video requests with that. And sometimes I turn those into videos. So, um, like I said, if you need anything, reach out. Otherwise, we'll see.